Hey all you addicts out there, welcome back to another Addicted Fishing tutorial. I'm Jordan Kanigi and today we're out here on the river talking winter steelhead and we're giving you five tips on how to be stealthy and target these beautiful fish in this low clear water conditions that we've seen so far this year or any year. It's very crucial to have a few tricks in your book as you go out here with low tough conditions and it'll really maximize the time you spend on the river by doing these very small intricate things that keep you a little bit more stealthy and a little bit more progressive in fishing in low water. My biggest tip, rule number one, for low clear fishing is how you approach a hole and, and your attire. Being warm, being comfortable on the river is very important when it's cold and clear outside, but at the same respects, you wanna have neutral colors. My biggest pet peeve and the thing I laugh about the most is when you see a guy with a low super clear river and he shows up with his Gordon Fisherman yellow jacket and his fluorescent construction hat. That's the biggest red flag you could have in the world for these fish. They can see too, they have eyeballs just like you do. So when you come up to the riverbank and you have bright obnoxious clothing on, although you might look cool, what it does is it allows those fish to spot you and it moves them in the fishing hole. If not completely out, it moves them to a spot in the hole that you can't necessarily get a good presentation. So wearing neutral colors, whether it be camo, whether it be these Sims jackets, whether it be any adaption, but trying to match whatever color on the bank with your clothing is very key so that you're not spooking these fish as you're getting into a hole. Tip number two I'm gonna give you guys today is how you approach a fishing hole. The biggest mistake a lot of people can make with a low clear water condition is running right up to the hole, either walking up the entire bank all the way to the head of the hole and starting to fish, or just walking up, standing on the highest rock they can and being as flamboyant as possible. What you wanna do when approaching a, a hole in low clear water is sneak up, act stealthy. Whether you take a longer route to get to where you wanna start fishing the hole and or you start at the bottom so that the fish are looking forward and not looking at you at the top of the run, you wanna kind of strategize how to approach each fishing hole and fish it taking into consideration that these fish are looking for any kind of predator, which is you. So keep that in mind when you approach a hole, either take a stealthy route don't stand up on any rocks or cast from further back on the bank and cover those inside stretches of water before you walk up to the hole and that's going to maximize all the time and your opportunity on the river at those fish in these low and clear water conditions. The third tip I'm going to give you is downsizing in your leader size. What I mean by that is instead of going with your common 12s or your 20s or your 17 pound fluorocarbons in the low clear water conditions, possibly downsizing, not much, but some, and at least taking those presentations with you. We never wanna lose a great opportunity at a big trophy steelhead by using too light of line, but what is nice is to up your odds of catching fish by having lighter line with you. One of my favorites nowadays is the 12, 12 pound P-Line tactical fluorocarbon. It's a lot thinner fluorocarbon than the SS or any of the other models, a little bit more fragile, but it allows a much stealthier approach. You don't need to constantly stick with it, but what helps is to have those lighter lines to use in different holes along through the day just to see if it is gonna change your success. In my, in my experience, it has changed my success many times, so taking a little bit lighter leader to the river will never hurt you in low clear water conditions. So the fourth tip I'm gonna give you guys today is adjusting your leader lengths with the low clear water conditions. What I like to do when the water gets super low, clear, and cold is I like to start extending my leader length going with a somewhat lighter leader like we just talked about, but also extending that length so that that fish isn't seeing as much of your weight presentation or your swivel setup as it does your, your setup, whether it be a jig, worm, or a bead. Especially with beads, I like going with longer leaders. With your jigs and worms, if you're used to fishing sliding floats, I might go to a fixed float and use a lighter fluorocarbon leader so that that fish is seeing a lot less of your presentation that's not your actual jig or your setup that you're trying to get them to bite. So extending that leader length, going with a little bit smaller leader, and downsizing is really gonna help you key in on these fish when you only get a few opportunities at them in this low clear water condition. So tip number five that I'm gonna give you guys is downsizing your presentations. Whether you're going with a smaller jig presentation or cutting your six inch worm down to a three inch or even going with much smaller beads, your six, eights, and twelves are gonna help a lot in clear water. What clear water does to your presentation is it illuminates it. It makes it look bigger than it seems. So using smaller setups, smaller jig heads, and smaller beads, maybe sometimes even smaller bead hooks is gonna up your ante and help you key in on these fish in these low conditions. 
What happens when we do get this low clear water is you only get so many chances at these fish. They are somewhat smart. They're aggressive, but they're smart. So if you don't make your first few casts count, then you're really not gonna stand a chance on these fish. So having that longer length in your leader, having smaller leader, and then having a smaller presentation, maybe mixed in with a little bit of scent is always gonna help up your ante in low clear water. So that pretty much wraps up our five tips that I'm gonna give you guys today for low clear water conditions. The key is to stay effective. Make those first three to five casts count in a hole and make sure you're set up before you cast in there. Don't be quite as negligent with the river as you normally would with high water. Use smaller line, make sure that your setup is perfect before you cast and make those first few casts count every time you cast in there because that's really the only opportunities you're gonna get with that low clear water. So. If you guys liked what you saw here today, be sure and go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel down here. We appreciate all the love we get from you. That being said, comment below. We want to hear your guys' feedback. We want to hear your tips on how to key in on low clear water. And we want you guys to like and share this out there so that the world can see it. You guys, thanks for tuning in today. Stay fishing. We'll see you out there on the river.